Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is We All Juggle Knives and Lights. Welcome to my review of the Ammo Torch JM70. Hey, why does it say uh, that? Uh, I don't know. I think that's their old name. Here is a newer box from a newer, another Ammo, Ammo Torch. We'll just we'll put that there for the logo. Speaking of Ammo Torch, all right. Here is that's the JM70 two battery model. That is the single battery JM70 which has a different emitter and I will review that as well that is the AM30 from Ammo Torch, which I will review as well now that light is the Shadow JM35 I've already reviewed it I don't think they make that one anymore but I think that uh, I think that might have been made by the same the same company I'm not 100 percent sure but I think it was and that is the U-Torch uh, UT-02. Now I'm not sure if Amu Torch is a different company than U-Torch or what. So I don't know the connection there or if there is any, but the U-Torch, which is an OEM of a manker, that's a good light. I'll include a link. And here's a closer look at the Amu Torch in hand. It has very good texture for grip and it has a lot of surface area to dissipate heat. It is a long light because it has to fit you know, two 26650 batteries in it. And it has a very large and in charge smooth reflector. See the emitter there. See how deep that goes. Now as you saw that had a smooth reflector but if you look at the product listing they have a picture of the reflector and they show an orange peel reflector Right, so I did contact Banggood.com and I told them that their picture is different than what I received. And they said that they're going to look into it and that it might be an old picture. But just so you know, they're shipping out items with a smooth reflector, which I actually prefer. I actually prefer the better, you know, the better range of the smooth reflector. And this is that website where you can get this. Banggood.com. I'll include a link if you want to pick one up. Now this does not come with English instructions, nor does it come with an a English data sheet or anything like that. So if you want to see the full stats on this light, I will include a link and you can go to the product listing where they do list all the run times and the breakdown of the modes. But in summary, the brightest this goes 3,500 max lumens and the range is listed as 400 meters. And again, because they had that old picture of the old reflector, I don't know if that range number is new or old. So let's just say at least, at least 400 meters max beam distance. So how does this work? Well, basically to turn it on or off, you press the tail switch. Right. Now once it is on, you can go through the first three brightness levels just by pressing the side switch and quick double click for the turbo. You'll see that better when we go outside. Okay, strobe warning, a very quick triple tap will bring strobe. There. Yeah, you have to do it really quickly, but that is the strobe. Now this has no memory function, so when you turn it off and then turn it on, it will always come back in the low mode. All right, to get at the batteries, you just unscrew the body of the light. It's got an end tube and then the middle tube. All right, that's what that looks like. Takes two 26 650s, and I am using Keep Power brand and I like lights that are based around 26 650s just for their capacity, you know, for the endurance that they're going to have. As I said, they also have a single battery model, which takes one of those. And as I said, different emitters between the uh, two battery model and the one battery model. All right, let's go outside and test this out, demonstrate it for you, and then we will come back for final thoughts on this light. Okay, YouTube, we're out here on the testing board with this JM70. Let's cycle through the brightness levels. Eight, 
and that is the turbo that is as bright as it goes and that is extremely extremely bright yeah that is bright I'm liking this flashlight all right strobe warning that's the strobe nice okay YouTube I'm out in the field with this Amu Torch a JM70 out on the road let's let's power it up and here's a top view of the beam shot on the road this is a pretty nice light yeah that's pretty sweet yeah check out that view that's pretty nice Okay, we're on the sports field with the JM70. Let's try to hit the goal. Yeah, it easily hits the goal. I'm way back here. Okay, I'm on a different road with this JM70. Let's shine this down the road and see how far it can throw. Yeah, that is a nice shot and it really shows the power of this light. And here is a hill in the other direction. There's no street lights in these parts. Okay, we are overlooking Frog Creek with the JM70. And it's doing really well. Look how focused that beam is. up to the treetops you can see all the bubbles I'm way up here on the banks of the creek yeah I really like the performance of this light I mean like you can see the beam pretty well because it's uh, it's kinda humid you see that beam? Yeah, this is a pretty awesome light. Okay, YouTube, we are conducting a backyard security mission with this ammo torch light. I see some deer. Do you see them? Detected. Trespassers detected. I'm in the second story window. Yeah, it lights them up really well. Yeah, and I'm way back here, so yeah, backyard security mission fulfilled with this ammo torch. And we are back. I hope you enjoyed that. So, final thoughts and pros and cons on this ammo torch JM70. Well, 3,500 lumens is definitely respectable brightness. It has a very good mix of range and brightness. Like I said, I actually prefer the smooth reflector that these now have. It has a very focused beam. It's going to have a lot of endurance with those big-ass capacity batteries. Now on the downside, this does not come with batteries. Yes, batteries not included, so you will have to buy some. And I would recommend some high-quality, high-amp batteries if you want to be able to generate the max lumens on this thing because uh, basically cheapo batteries are not going to allow it to uh, hit that max lumen figure. I like that it has a tail switch a lot easier to find by touch in the dark although it's just an on and off tail switch. You can't actually switch modes using just the tail switch but better than no tail switch at all. The strobe with a triple click on a side switch very hard to use that's really that makes the strobe non-viable to me as a tactical tool, right? So on this light, that strobe is purely to signal if, you're, if you are in distress. Now the normal price on this is around 70, which I feel is too high, all right? So I'm going to contact uh, banggood.com and ask if they can, you know, cut us a break, a discount. So by the time I post this, there's either going to be a discount or it will just be on sale. Right, so I don't know what the final price will be, but 
you know, 70, that's a little high. If we can get it down to 60 or 50 or below that, then we're talking. All right, so I hope you enjoyed seeing this light. Check the text description box because even if you don't like this particular light, I'm going to list any discounts that I can get for other Amu Torch lights or other lights I will include. And I will also include links to other lights, like video reviews of other lights, even competing lights, so you can shop around. Okay, stay tuned for many more videos. This has been We All Juggle Knives and Lights. I'm out.